This tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. One of the things in Maya which really amazed me back in 2017 when I started this channel was Mesh. Uh, Arnold the renderer, beautiful, and Mesh the instance producer, really amazing. And this is like um, an homage to Mesh, and I try to keep it short and show you how amazing this tool is and what you can do within just a few minutes. So uh, let's go to polygon modeling and create a cube. Important is that the geometry you're starting with is simple. And uh, I add a new material in blue. With this object selected, I go to Mesh now. This, this tab here and all the way to the left is this icon. That's how the Mesh network starts. I click here and I get 10 instances of my blue cube. Nothing really fancy. It does nothing when I play the animation. It doesn't do anything. Okay, now I create something more sophisticated, some kind of geometry. And I go to Windows, General Editors, Content Browser. And here in the Content Browser I find motion capture data and for example I choose the dancer number one. He arrives in the scene, he's so large that he's uh, very distant here and this is the dance he performs here. This is the geometry, this is the skeleton. We need the geometry, we need to think about the geometry. Okay, I go back to the mesh now and here is the mesh distribute and I want to distribute my 10 number of points on that geometry here instead of sitting in this row here. That's why I choose mesh here and Maya asks me connect a mesh right here. Now I middle mouse drag, don't click, just middle mouse drag the geometry which is the skin into that field. Now the dots are not there anymore but one is for example here and when we hide the the dancer now, the dancer and the skeleton by pressing H, we see a few dots here in the air and if we change the background color we see them even better and the dots behave like the dancer. You could say let's make them bigger. No, we're gonna use more and that's the main power of MASH really. Uh, instead of 10 points we can have a thousand points and here is our creature now dancing and consisting of many many dots. This is pretty amazing. Now let's go back to mesh this node, this is a, it's called the waiter and add a signal node. This is the signal node and it basically uh, makes the animation a little bit more vivid. Not only the dancer carries the little blocks now uh, we can add some jiggling to that motion or can we can scale it like this so they have different scales and they move while the animation is playing. This is a very subtle effect when you don't over dramatize it but it's still there. So the last thing we're gonna do in order to get your taste for mesh is we go back to the mesh waiter which we can reach here and now we add trails. We see the trails here. One step further. You see how each little dot, each cube carries that trail. And this performs in real time. So it's an extremely powerful tool, MASH. I really like it and I've made lots of tutorials about it. Bye bye.